your instructor for this fall 2024 semester here at Grand Canyon University. I wanted to just introduce myself to you and go over a few housekeeping tips that um, will help you be a little bit more successful um, throughout the semester. Again, this course is um, COM 456 and it is organizational communication. I look forward to all of the things you'll be learning and um, how we'll be interacting together with your peers, et cetera. So let's go ahead and get started. And um, I'd like to just switch the information over to share my screen with you in order to give you a little bit more information. So let's go ahead and do that. Okay. So you should also see my screen here in front. And I wanted to start by giving you some information about who I am. My name is again, Dr. Eagles. Um, you can refer to me as Professor or Dr. Eagles. I am an adjunct professor here at Grand Canyon University in the College of Humanities and Social, Social Sciences. Here's my basic information. If you wanna contact me, here's my phone number, my cell number. Um, I actually live in Houston, Texas, so there's a bit of a time difference, so keep that in mind. Um, if interested, we will set up a Zoom meeting in the future so we can go over some of the different um, elements of the class. So again, this class is organizational communication, and um, let's just go through some of the expectations that I have for you. First, I'd like for you to start specifically by reviewing your syllabus. Um, make sure that you are getting that information that is directly needed for your ongoing success. Also review your rubric and all of the different assignments that you will be responsible for as well. Um, actually, you know, there are several assignments for writing. It's very heavily involved in um, communication with your peers, online discussion groups, and also there are um, elements of the um, writing assignments and direct posts. So I'm a real stickler for really submitting a good discussion post online. So I have a few elements that I want to um, let you know that I will be looking for throughout your um, your discussions. So you will need to post two discussions per week. Um, in that discussion post, I will be looking for an introduction, a brief statement of what the chapter is about and or the topic, um, restate the question that um, has been required through our department, and make sure you include at least two to three main points in your discussion um, post. Give illustrations. Also, I will be looking for theories and or definitions of different terms that you'll be using within that particular topic. I also will be looking for a really thought-provoking perspective from your part in order to generate discussion groups and to make it interesting. We don't want this to be boring. We want it to be relevant. Um, additionally, we want to um, include a conclusion and references that you will be using. Remember that your references are quite important. I will want those included in each one of your posts. Um, this will include about um, 300 plus words um, in your discussion post. And usually that is what you will need to provide um, in order to make sure that you're getting all of the information um, that I'm looking for and that will be interesting to your classmates. Additionally, um, the student instructor engagement is quite important. I will look for information from you. I will um, also post um, on the message boards. Please, if you have any questions that you have for me, you need to post those on the message 
message um, post on, on Halo. And also um, make sure that you include your name and the class that you are in. We will also have what we call um, cats. Um, cats are the wave of information that I will be um, making sure that you are understanding the information and the direction of the learning materials. Um, there's, you know, always on ground, if you are in a classroom, there is this engagement between um, those professor and students and within student peers. So we are not in the classroom. So we use this um, CATS um, engagement to make sure that um, you are engaging in the various bit of information that is required. Um, let's see. When you are engaging with peer-to-peer -peer communication, I would ask that when you are commenting to others and they're giving a response, that you make sure that you include um, some opinions. So I have some information here that you can review and take a look at read through as well. I will send this in a post um, on the announcement so you will have this information to review as well, okay? Um, additionally, when you are responding um, to me online, I would like to make sure that you use um, specific information and guidelines in the actual forum. And um, again, I will send this information out to you so you can review it as well. General information of classroom presence and participation is pretty standard. You should have that information in your handbook. I would encourage you to review that information as well to make sure you have all the information that you need. In general, the classroom presence and participation is as follows. Um, you'll have per topic different um, discussions that you will need to include one, um, your main discussion and your reply to the questions, and you will have um, you will have an opportunity to respond to at least three um, of your peers. If you do re respond to one of my um, questions and or responses or information, that will also count as one of your um, replies. So keep that in mind. When you are communicating, the class course information is COM 456-TO, which is traditional online, and your particular class is 101. So make sure you do include this on all your assignments. If I do not get your information, including your name and specific information, how will I know how, who you are? So I do require you to make sure that you have all of this information. Um, when you post. What are CATS? CATS are classroom assessment um, techniques and they're generally pretty simple, ungraded and anonymous type of activities where we correspond with each other and I will be looking for specific feedback from you in order to ensure that there is um, this teaching learning process um, that is ongoing and I'll, I'll see that you are actually learning. So that's what I refer to as CATS. Okay, that's basic um, information for getting to know what I expect. And I look forward to hearing from you. Each week, I will post an announcement for you. I would strongly recommend that you take a look and check in at least at the beginning of the week and maybe on a Thursday, in case that I'm adding any other tips or engagements. Um, also, I will provide you with resources um, and various information to make sure that we're all on the same page. So I'm very excited about this semester and I look forward to joining you next week. So see you then. Bye-bye. God bless.